Okay, in this example here, we're going to find the equation of the tangent line to this particular curve at this point. And so if I rewrite this equation, I can see that it's 8, and this is 4 plus 3x to the negative 1 half because the square root is the 1 half, the negative pulls it to the top. I want to find the derivative of this. In order to find the derivative, which is equal to the slope of the tangent, I pull down my 1 half, so 8 times 1 half negative is going to be negative 4. 4 plus 3x to take away 1 from negative and I get negative 3 halves times, now here's the chain rule part. This is an inside function here. The derivative of the inside is just 3. And so this is the tangent, the equation to, of the tangent slope. And I want to find the slope at the point 4, 2. So I'm going to plug in, I'm going to plug in the 4 in for my x. All right, so I get well, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, and it's 4 plus 3 times 4 to the negative 3 halves, which is negative 12. 4 plus 12 is 16 to the negative 3 halves. Doing this math, the square root of 16 is 4, so it's negative 12 times 4 to the negative 3. Well, going to the top here, I know it's negative 12 times 1 over 4 cubed, which is negative 12 over 64, which if I divide by 4, I get, oh, divide by 4, I get 16 over 3. This is the slope of the tangent. So now taking that slope, I know the point was 4, 2. I plug it into this equation here, 3 over 16, x minus 4, and so 16y minus 32 is equal to 3x minus 12, and so my tangent line, I get negative 3x plus 16y is equal to 20 if I add the 32. This is the equation of the tangent line. Use the chain rule to find the slope, plug in my x value to find the specific slope at that point, and I get my tangent. Okay.